guys, this is Boo Trampling Boom Beach. On this video, guys, I'm gonna be doing a task force attack, and I'm also gonna be attacking real player. I'm also gonna be attacking NPC bases on my map right now. So let's go ahead and check out my troops, yo. This is my heavies and zookas. This is the troops I'm gonna be using on the task force attack, and I'm really considering what I'm gonna be attacking today. So let's see what we got here. Okay, this is Armadillo, and I, the problem here is actually the shock launchers. They got like tons of HP because this is the dead end, the hardest operation in Boom Beach. And I'm thinking like this is going to be really hard because there's like a rocket launcher uh, on the north side there, north to the right. And that's going to be really, really hard. So let's scout the other bases. Okay, this is Conifold. And this is also really, really hard for the uh, Zookas and Heavies. Um, that's because of the boom cannons behind there and rocket launchers at the start. It's going to be massive death, guys. So, okay, what about the third base? This is Machina. And, okay, this is uh, also a hard base. So I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like the Armadillo is going to be the uh, the easiest one. Armadillo, the possum, <laughs> the animal, guys. Okay, so let's check out the Armadillo again. I'm really sure I'm going to be attacking this base. I think I can just go to the right side, flank this base, and basically damage the shock launcher to help out the task force. Because that is how you actually reach far in the task force. You need to communi communicate with members. Um, you need to help them out. Uh, don't be like a hero attacking the HQ and taking it down. It's it's not, it's not a good idea. Try to help up the team and try to communicate. So, okay, let's rock and roll. We're taking out the Zookas and the Heavies. And as I said there, guys, I'm going to be flanking this base. And that means I'm going to be hugging the right side. And the problem or the mini problem here might be the machine gun. I'm really not sure if it's going to be... Um, um, I'm really not sure if I'm going to be uh, losing Izukas here because uh, I think I'm going to be shocking these machine guns like that. And as you see there, the, the Izukas have like a free pass there. And I'm going to be assisting with some smoke screen. Um, there we go. We have the machine gun. Okay, the machine gun is firing my Izukas. But all my daggers, I was lucky there, guys. The machine guns couldn't take down my Izukas. So I still have all of my Izukas alive. Now it's time to get some uh, gunboat energy because we're going to be rocking or working on the shock launcher. Those four Quadros shock launchers, I'm going to be working on them. So I'm going to be focusing on the boom cannon first because they are actually hurting my heavies. They can one-shot my heavies. This is a full boosted up troops. That means I got like my, my, my troop health boosted up, my troop down. Damage. All of my gunboat energy statues are boosted up. Even though I have my statues boosted up, my heavies are going down in like one shot, like a boom, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna be farming or harvesting this uh this free gunboat energy, and we're gonna be dropping barrages. We're gonna be dropping barrages and artillery shells on those quadro shock launchers. So let's work on the shock launchers. We're gonna be tossing some barrages, and we're also gonna be assisting with some artillery shells. Hopefully, we can take down the shock launcher. I'm really not sure. And look at it, guys. I tossed like three artillery shells and three barrages and I assisted it with two plus uh, artillery shells and I couldn't even take it down. I got like maxed upgraded artillery shells and barrage and I couldn't even take it down. What's going on bro? What's going on bro? So okay, we basically got all of the free gunboat energy we could take and it's now it's time to, uh, to work on the cannons there on the uh, the right side of the, uh, the, head, uh, the headquarters or the power core. Because I'm going to be trying to take down that rocket launcher. I'm really not sure if I can take down that rocket launcher. That would be super awesome if I could take down the rocket launcher. Because the next one that, that would attack this uh, base would easily take down this base. Because uh, I think it's like two more artillery shells on those shock launchers. And... If I take down this rocket launcher, it's going to be super awesome. No, my Zookas spread it out, and I don't have gunboat energy to relocate my Zookas to attack the rocket launcher. What is going on, bro? What is going on, bro? Okay, Zookas are drunk, yo. <laughs> so there we go. We got the uh, the gunboat energy to flare to the rocket launcher. I really hope I can take down the rocket launcher. Let's see what happens here. Okay, the rocket launchers are actually taking down my Zookas right now. And there we go. We got the rocket launcher, and the shock launcher is really hurted, and this this was just an awesome attack. I was actually, this was super great. I'm super, I'm super excited now. Super excited. And we have like 34 attacks remaining. That means we're going to be taking down dead end. Okay. 
this is the earth number one task force in the world um they were saying like good job and i was I, yeah it's a good job <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job. So let's rock and roll to the map. We're gonna be taking down some NPC bases I'm also gonna be taking down one real player basis and I'm thinking like I'm gonna be using all scorches guys I'm gonna be using all scorches right now, and I really hope I won't lose any scorches Well using all scorches boosted up they They are like beast guys. They cannot be stopped. They're super powerful. So check this out guys This is the first NPC base. I'm gonna be attacking drastic destruction and basically what I'm doing here I'm just flaring directly to the HQ and just shocking the cannons look at that guys the HQ is just dropping down fast on health I'm not gonna be losing any troops at all this is a cheap way to attack NPC bases if you do not want casualties if you do not want to waste gold or waste diamonds this is absolutely the way the scorchers can take down the NPC bases without losing any any unit so well this is a boosted up unit and max upgraded scorcher so okay let's rock and roll we're gonna be keeping it going this is jaw dropper level 16 and basically what i'm gonna be doing here is the same thing i'm gonna be doing the same thing on the npc basis just flare directly directly to the hq and the scorcher will scorcher will basically burn down the hq they can handle tons of damage the boom cannons needs like to need, need to shoot like um eight to 10 shells to take down the scorcher or even more um with the, the the boom can is like five shots and these the scorchers are gone i think it's like five shots but that's like 20 seconds guys because when the boom cannons are reloading that's four seconds it's like boom one two three four and boom again so yeah it takes tons of time to reload the boom cannon that means the scorchers can survive for a very very long time okay the next npc base is empty barrel and there are like two boom cannons behind there that's not gonna be a problem as i told you guys using scorchers on npc bases are totally free it's easy and it's uh, really fast and it's really effective it saves you tons of resources and diamonds this is just the way to use it cheap guys so okay empty barrel just went down we're gonna be uh, trying to attack some uh, more npc bases until we find the real player and then we're gonna be attacking the real player guys so we're gonna keep on strolling we're gonna be attacking shock therapy here okay let's see okay this NPC base might be a problem because of the uh, the uh, the shock launchers. If the shock launchers are shocking the scorchers, there's basically no damage at all. Look at this; they're just paralyzing the scorchers, yo. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking down the boom cannons first, and I'm gonna be shocking the shock launcher. And look at those boom cannons; they're just dropping down so fast while my scorchers are just enjoying themselves, burning like a beast, guys, like a butterfly. So okay. Check this out, those red mean machines, the scorchers are just burning everything guys, everything. And I'm gonna be shocking the boom cannons and the shock launcher and there we go, we're gonna be working down the HQ right now. The shock therapy is not actually giving me any therapy at all. I'm giving him the therapy, yo. And there we go, boom, blast, blastoise of the guacamole guys. So okay, scorchers are, surviving this they are just surviving this i cannot wait to test them out on the real player base it's been a while ago since i tested out all maxed up scorches boosted up on a real player base and the question is will i be able to take down the real player base without any casualties it's possible guys it's possible so let's work down drastic destruction i think we're getting close to the real player we're going to be having some fun with the real player very very soon guys okay so drastic destruction just went down and I'm just having a cozy time guys. I'm enjoying myself right now because I'm playing Boom Beach. I'm using the Scorches boosted up and I have a new face cam guys that I'm testing out right now. This is the first time I'm testing out this face cam. It's HD. It should be it should be good guys. It should be good. So okay, we got another shock therapy here. And I'm thinking like, okay, are you going to give me shock therapy here? I'm going to give I'm going to be giving you shock therapy. <laughs> I'm gonna be giving you shock, shock therapy. It's okay. Let's go ahead take out take down those boom cannons. Okay, I'm burning pretty much the whole thing here and 
Um, the, I didn't lose any casualties on the first attack on the shock therapy, but that is because I know what to do to take down this NPC beast. Basically, you need to have the, the shock launcher and the boom cannon on checkmate, guys. Checkmate. You need to be careful. You need to stick your eyes to the screen. You need to pay attention, guys. So, okay, taking down this HQ right now, and there we go. It burned, boom, boom, blast of the boomer, guys. There we go. Shock therapy got therapied by me again. And, okay, I think, this, I think it's the real player version very soon guys okay let's uh jump over to the map and we have the real player day guys we're gonna be testing out the real player banagher okay 1093 medals this is a maxed up level base and the thing i'm gonna be doing here guys i'm gonna be basically rushing my scorches up to the hq so i'm gonna be flaring myself up there and let's see if we can take down this base without losing any casualties at all is it possible guys is it possible the the answer will be here right now it will be here i'm keeping on getting shocked by the shock launcher and my my scorches are actually standing still uh, down there but i think i will be able to reach the hq and burn it down without losing casualties so let's check it right now my scorches are pro guys maxed up level boosted up and there we go we are actually burning the hq right now we have started the damage and we're starting to burn the hq guys and i still have my my scorches with tons of health i do think i will be able to take down this with the full group without losing any troops at all guys check this out Banagher went down 1093 medals level 61 the scorchers all scorches is blasted down the real player without any problems at all and there you go guys you saw it right there I just enjoyed this guys so basically this is it for today guys I'm gonna be uh, trying my webcam more I'm gonna be testing it out so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys there and goodbye of the scorches all unit maxed up goodbye